It's a popular belief for most Thais that water buffaloes are only good at working the fields. But little do they know, they can also milk out delicious nutrition. I was so so frightened, so excited whether uh, there's a milking buffalo in the world. Buffalo milk is twice as creamy as cow milk, with twice the calories. With this discovery, Kun Ran Chuan went and set up the first water buffalo dairy farm in Thailand. Starting with 70 of these bovines, 40 mura from India and 30 Thai swamp buffaloes. Her farm quickly grew to 300 in six years. My dream, my, my expectation is I, would, I, can, I can start a business with successful and I can share share the know-how to the farmers who, is in, who are interested to come, to, to, to come as my member so that they can have a very, very permanent job because no matter what economic happens, the farmers still can stay if they produce food. Kun Ran Chuan had followed the footsteps of various buffalo dairy farms she observed abroad in Italy, the birthplace of buffalo mozzarella. I prefer to have the cheese more popular than the milk because the cheese makes more money than the milk. It may be a cheesy case in point, but the Murrah Dairy Farm has attracted many cheese buffs from all around. Buffalo milk is a premium product. Everybody who knows or went to Italy or goes in one of the many Italian restaurants you have here in Bangkok, mozzarella cheese. But very few know that buff buffalo di mozzarella is the more expensive, the high-end premium product. So when we came here and we saw, okay, there was some news about this exciting project, so we had a look. It seems the thing about buffalo mozzarella that draws cheese buffs in is the taste. A lot more creamier. Um, it has a taste. Cow mozzarella is virtually tasteless. So buffalo mozzarella has really a taste. But it's not, you know, not strong or anything like that. So it should really fit the Thai consumer very well, and served as it should supposed to be, with some basil leaf and tomato, fresh tomato, a bit olive oil. Perfect. Apart from Mr. Jurgen, locals have also shown keen interest in buffalo dairy. The Romai School elementary students from Bangkok hold frequent field trips to the Mura Dairy Farm. Here, students learn about making buffalo milk, all the way from milking the friendly creatures and pasteurizing their milk, to making the creamy mozzarella and baking it. Now, to make mozzarella cheese, the freshly pasteurized buffalo milk gets separated into liquid and solid. The solid is the bean curd. After mixing in water into the curd and stirring for some time, you form the balls here, which uh, results in the mozzarella cheese. Ball. While decorating the meal looks fun, it seems the best part of the trip is eating the goods. Yes, I like buffalo and pizza is delicious. After the meal, it's time for dessert. Kun Ran Juan also converted buffalo milk to frozen goodness. She says someday these nutritious variations may come in handy. In future, we may fight for food or even water. This is what I think. So if people, especially Thai people, have enough food, they can come to the sufficient economy, right? This is what I expect. And I would like to educate Thai people about this, uh, the way of, of how I think. Losalin Table 1, reporting for Thai ASEAN News Network.